driven to win. Up front, Brad on the outside. They're all in behind the great coon starting gate on the upper turn. The gate swings into the stretch and here they come for the first division of the Little Brown Jug. They're off and pacing Malty, Sardis, and John Campbell going right out for the lead. Finnegan Hanover on the inside, second, taking a seat third. Captain Silver Heels up on the outside, into the turn, Rare Jewel as they race to the backside, racing fifth. That's Western Terror down the backside, sixth. Western Prince racing seventh, driven to win, treading the field up front, breath as they race over to the first quarter mark. 26 and 1. The end of the turn they go. On top of the field, it's Malti Zardes up on the outside. Now, second and going on as they race around the turn. Rear two racing third. Finnegan Hanover, Captain Silver Heels on the outside. Western Terror picks up some cover. Into the lane, first time, coming to the halfway point. Western Prince to the outside, driven to win. Up front, Brad, up the inside. Halfway home, 54 and 1, second quarter and 28. Maltese artist with the lead on the outside as they race around the turn. Rear Jewel going to the backside, racing third. Finnegan Hanover moving on the outside. Captain Silver Heels fourth. Western Prince fifth. Western Terror about to tip three wide for Brian Sears, followed by David Miller and driven to win. Up front, Brad the trailer, they're tightly bunched. Three quarters, one, 22 and three. 28 and two, third quarter. Maltese Artisan John Campbell with the lead. Closing on the outside, Brian Sears and Western Terror closing with every stride. Driven to win on the outside along with up front, Brad and Finnegan Hanover. Down the stretch they come. Brian Sears, Western Terror on the outside. One fifty-one, a world record, first heat. What a way to start it, Sam. World record first heat, and it looked like uh, four, three, seven, eight across the wire, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, indeed, and Western Terror and Brian Sears ended up probably with more cover than he wanted third over there with uh, Captain Silverheel sitting second over and Rare Jewel, who could not drop into the two-hole, stuck there first over. Sears kicked out the earplugs midway down the backstretch before the son of that Hanover Shoe Farm Stallion, and he takes the uh, first division of the jug. Stands and going to the winner's circle. National season's record. Three-year-old pacing Colts on a half-mile track. And a first heat world record. 151. Western Terror. Home for the Perfect World Enterprises, Old Westbury, New York. Brett Pelling trains. Brian Sears with his second win on today's card. Three-year-old Colt, Western Hanover, Terror. Equals the lifetime mark with a mile in 151. Final half, 56 and four. The final quarter, 28 and two. So Western Terror, Brett Pelling and Brian Sears win the first division of the Little Brown Jug. Perfect World Enterprises made up of uh, David Brooks and his wife, Terry. They're from Old Westbury, New York. And uh, Brooks is a private investor and venture capitalist. Been racing horses for, I guess, around 20 years or so as a uh, Publicly owned company is DHB Capital Group. A lot of his horses named DH. They're up 440, 260, and 260, and 340 and $3 on the place horse, the Maltese artist, and the 